Good morning, YouTube. Uh, another sussing through the sustenance video. Just woke up and uh, decided I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I'm going to use my squash that has been sitting on my counter for about a month. Uh, you know, that I grew in my backyard. I've grown probably like eight of these or something. There's probably like nine strongly analogous versions of this right here. Uh, butternut squash, for those of you that don't know, came from like Australia. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, down the bogans from down under grew this. Um, you know, it's through all the <clears throat> screaming family members and um, fighting, fighting, they uh, managed to do something right. The uh, butternut squash. And the butternut squash is a uh, basically like a pumpkin pie right off the vine, okay? Uh, so pumpkin, pumpkin pie is actually like kind of crappy because you have to, you have to do all this work to it. Okay. Uh, you have to, in order to make a pumpkin pie, if you've ever tried to make a pumpkin pie, you, uh, you got to add like a bunch of stuff to it that makes it have like a sweet taste to it. Cause it's not very sweet. And this is, comes sweet already. And it also comes like, uh, you know, vegan buttery. Okay. Uh, it also, uh, comes smelling just like a pumpkin pie after you boil it. All right. So we're going to boil it. Uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to make some banana, uh, like spicy banana ice cream that I'm going to put on top of it. And, uh, with, uh, some cinnamon basil and, uh, Greek basil from the backyard because those things seem like they would be correlated with such, uh, endeavors. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give it a shot and, uh, here you go. If you're making like a really thick ice cream types, uh, you know, sorbet rather than like a, you got to like use your, the spoon here and mash it down, um, to make sure it all mixes up good. You know, the jalapeno will add like a spicy, it'll be like a spicy pumpkin pie. All right, so this is the final result. Uh, jalapeno ice cream is already really good. Jalapeno banana ice cream, I already tasted that. Mmm. But um, we're gonna try it with the uh, with this now. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. Oh, it's it's unreal. So good. Wow. How do I just come up with this stuff? Whew. It is so good. I just added more ice cream to the top of it. And see if Chewy likes it. You dig it, Chewy? You like the jalapeno? You wanted some of that the other day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she does when she eats jalapeno. She loves it. Oh, you okay? You get too much? Get some water. You done goofed. That's what you wanted. I think she's okay. Yeah, she looks okay. It was a good amount of jalapeno. <clears throat> I'm notoriously resilient to uh, jalapeno, so... Of course, my dogs are as well. <laughs> and just a minute later, she already wants more. You want more, Judy? You want some more? No, okay, hold on. I'll give you some more. There's a little bit, though. Because this is for me. This is my breakfast. For you too, Banshee G. Come here. Here. Benji, you missed it, you dummy. Come here. Come on. Don't be a dummy. Get it. Chewy, get out of there. There. Benji, it's on the floor. Get it. Get it before your sister. Oh, God. You little derp. Okay. All right, so my uh, correlation there worked with the uh, uh, butternut squash, Greek basil, cinnamon basil, uh, banana, nutritional yeast, jalapeno, ice cream. Uh, 
I expected the jalapeno to kind of function as like the cayenne pepper. A lot of times people put a little cayenne pepper inside a pumpkin pie. So, you know, I just used uh, Google and some correlation to uh, make it happen. And it worked. And it was delicious. So, yep. Uh, I think what I'll do now is uh, chug some water and carry on with my day. Uh, the dogs loved it too. Um, so, a new recipe. Now, new recipe achievement. Maybe I'll put like an achievement thing here. New recipe achievement. <laughs> Alright. Uh. New jalapenos and jasmine rice. Had garbanzo, now I'm going to sleep. I'll probably have some dates and apples in like the middle of the night as a snack because I'll be so fucking hungry. But, yep. Yeah. I'm just eat. Eat consistently. Just every three hours, eat consistently. That's all you have to do. Um, you know, to drink water. Uh, fresh air is really important too. I just replaced one of the filters on this like HEPA thing that I got. And it's like, ah, oh, it's changing my life. Ah, oh, man. I just, um, you can also like wash them, I guess, too. Uh, I did that a couple times over, but I, I guess it just stopped working. For like a month and a half or two months but that just shows you how bad the air quality is in my house air quality is probably number one thing to be honest and then water is probably second uh if you just think about it right like you're breathing more than you're even drinking water um so there's more chance for like free radicals to invade your body basically through that mechanism than there is through even water or like food so uh yeah Alright, thank you for watching, as always, and bye now.